Hi there. Um, my name is Brenda, and I'm going to do some demonstrations today on how I paint with energy. And I have been working with energy as a professional healer for over two decades. And there's multiple levels of what working with energy even means. I've studied and mentored with um, many people, with a shaman from Siberia, uh, with energy masters all over, as well as having my own business for almost a decade, and where I've seen thousands and thousands of people. So on a daily basis, I'm running energy through my body. I've learned how to open and direct energy and from that place, that's why I'm also painting. A lot of it is by feeling. I'm not in my academic brain about painting at all. I'm feeling, I'm responding, I'm listening to what the inner guidance, the soul, my intuition is telling me. And so I'm gonna just kind of go into this piece here and just kind of start to paint and um, get into the flow here. I'm gonna put some colors, and again, I'm always doing it purely by feeling or by intuition. Okay. So, I'm just gonna get into a zone here, and I'm just gonna start to paint. So I would begin painting. An, uh, a painting based on energy. First thing I like to do is just keep my canvas wet. Makes it a whole lot easier to blend. And as I start to go into this piece, I'm looking at looking at what attracts me. Uh, I really am kind of like in these lines up in here. Um, and again, I'm just capturing energetics and feeling. Most likely, this isn't what this is going to look like, but it just kind of gives me a beginning here. So this layer, after I, like this is the background, and then I kind of just look at the background and meditate a bit and see what wants to emerge. Uh, I'm letting it come up out of the painting. I'm not necessarily saying, oh, this is what I want this to look like. Not at all. So um, this back here was the background. Now I'm coming back over it and just loosely laying in the first kind of layers here of um, energy and feeling and vibration and frequency. She started to appear, um, a goddess, some kind here, priestess goddess, and a lot of light, you know, I can feel her power and her presence starting to just begin to come in. This um, DNA and and I've been sitting here kind of looking at it wondering okay you know what what is what is the kind of story here or what what wants to emerge and the word align came to me so I wrote that in it may or may not stay like that 
but this, it feels like at this point, there is an offering here that she's giving him that involves DNA, and I, I would take it even further and say cosmic DNA. And he's very much in a receiving position or a receiving energy, either receiving um, an initiation, a, a download, a transmission of energy that will further bring him into an aligned energy. So I've kind of uh, got the beginning here of what the energetics are telling me. And always, you know, it's important to stay open to how it might shift and change because nothing, nothing in energetics is linear. None of it is um, one dimensional, it's multi-dimensional. And it's really important to kind of just stay present as things want to evolve in the painting as well as through your own self as, as a channel for the energetics. Hmm. So when I start to look at him, and he's the one that just feels, you know, like, you know, what is it? Is it a him? Is it a her? Does it matter? Um, I think at this point it's more about just kind of going into a space again. I want to make sure my canvas is kind of damp, not super wet. And just going to begin here some light paint, bringing a little more definition around him. Here we go. Now when I'm painting this way, I'm very fluid. I'm feeling energy. I'm letting energy come out through me. I'm feeling the speed. I'm feeling energy come through me and out the paintbrush. I'm not trying to control anything. I am managing it to an, to a, you know a bit here, so there isn't just energy flowing all over. But it's very much fluid, and I want to keep it that way. I especially really like when these kind of organic formations start to happen. Um, hmm. I'm gonna just bring in a bit more form around it. A lot of times too when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm painting how energy moves. Right now, my, my heart, my soul, my energy, my openness, is connected to what the experience is here, the energetic experience and how it feels. Not so much how it's supposed to look like at all, but I know as I just keep following the energetic and I follow the organicness and how my brush wants to move, as I stay in a connected state, I know that all the things in this painting will tell me what's next. It always happens. We don't even have to worry about what's next. We just have to worry. We don't have to worry. <laughs> we just have to be in the energetic flow. And this will probably change several times. But at this point, what I'm not doing is making sure that everything's perfect, lettering, perfect lines, and just, just,
And I'm going to stop at this point because it feels like it's about to come into a new relationship. And sometimes when it gets to this point, I want to be able to let the paint sit and I want to be able to come back to it differently to just see what it has to say to me because there's, there's a lot, I would say there's a lot being activated right now as far as the relationship of everything in the painting. So I want to let that percolate, I want to let it dry, I want to let it set, and I want to come back to it with a fresh perspective so I can begin a fresh dialogue with what's going on. Although as I say that, I see one more area here that I just want to go in because I really love how this is and how it feels and I feel like I want to bring just a little more of that into here. to it tomorrow to see what else needs to be added.